My name is uh, Chaplain George Okoth. I was born in Kenya a long time ago. I taught in the seminary. Through that, I got a chance to get a, what is called sabbatical, to go to the States. I got a diocese that requested if I could help. The bishop and the diocese got so impressed with my service there, they requested my bishop if I could be allowed to serve in the diocese. And that was the beginning of the journey. As I was in that parish, there were some soldiers. Some of them came for R&R, &R, and they talked about the experience. And they said, we need priests in the military. I would say that there was the first voice that called me. So I went online, filled my name, and in 30 minutes, somebody called me from Fort Knox, asking me, hey, you are a priest? We would love to have you. We will send you a packet tomorrow. A few days, they sent me one, another one for medical. After a day, I was being told, oh, you qualified. I, I said, wow. So the problem convincing the bishop where I was that I needed to join the military, I had done this without asking them. Oh my God, I was just trying. I thought I was going to fail. I went to him and he said, do you think you really know what you want to do? I say, yes. They try to discourage me. But I say, no, I've signed up for it. I want to do it. And while I was at Cham School, the bishop wrote to me a letter asking me if I could write a letter of resignation from the parish. And I could not hesitate to write it. I said it and he accepted my resignation. And I continued in the military. Over 15 years later, I'm still here and I love it. It's like yesterday I joined. What kept me going was uh, my calling. I had to serve the soldiers. And as a citizen, my civic responsibility to give my shared due, I said, no, no matter where it is, if that is what being a soldier means, then I will have to go because I knew I was going to reach somewhere where there would be people who were going to receive me. My time in the army has brought me back to Africa and actually being part of the USARAF, you know, I've been to Liberia. I didn't even know I would go to such a, a country. And then I looked at it and I said, oh my God, this is like where I came from. And I see people and I say, looks like my mother, looks like my brother, looks like my sister. It's a different country. Yeah. But then I say, oh, what an opportunity to be of service to people in this organization. The simple advice I can give to anybody who wants to serve is that you have to have a heart. I cannot help the injustices happening in the world. But in my own way, even in a small way, I can reach out to support one single person and to make that person's day. Please know that we care about you. Yeah, it is not easy, but it is worth it. I hope you also find strength in whatever you're doing. Because when you love it, it no longer becomes a job just becomes a calling. Yeah. God made you great. Stay great. Don't bring yourself down. Don't give up on yourself because even God has not given up on you.